Hi everyone. Today, me and a few guildies are exploring a new mystery in Legion, a small island off the coast of Azuna. You get there by either swimming, or like we're doing, making use of the Death Knight's Path of Frost. You can see the island on your map, and while it looks like you might get fatigued heading out to it, you actually don't. The island is called Seabreak Isle, and as soon as you get close to it you can see why it might be named as such, since it looks like a ship broke up on the rocks of the pointy little island. The second thing you'll notice once you get right up on it is that it's inhabited by murlocs. And not just any murlocs, but you might have some trouble killing a group of kind of murlocs. Trying to explore the island can become a task, as there are several roaming patrols of these super murlocs, and they like to run away when they are near death and often end up pulling other paths your way. Aside from that, there's also the fact that once you look up, you can clearly see that the Murlocs are hanging some dude named Weirdbeard. Uh, perhaps he was the captain of the vessel that crashed into this rocky island? Uh, but we don't really know. Uh, we do know that the Murlocs are torturing him, um, and since the only interaction we can do with him is hit him, we tried to put him out of his misery. But after killing him, he still stayed around for a while before disappearing altogether. There is also a large bird sitting atop one of the rocky columns uh, called Salty. And of course, like everything else in World of Warcraft, we killed it. It didn't give us any loot or anything, so we skinned it like the foul creature it was. Get it? Anyway, using some night elf shadow melding, I was able to make my way to the top of the island where I found a few oddities. Uh, the first is a giant weapon-wielding murloc, uh, which are called uh, the Squigglefin Crablord, who, along with four other murlocs and crabs, are guarding a giant pearl, among some other treasures sitting in the back. First thought was that yes, this looks just like the pearl we found when investigating the Salty Kraken, only a lot bigger, right by an area where murlocs were gathering treasure, which I'll link to at the end of this video. We were unable to kill them all, so we'll have to wait until later to see if this giant murloc drops anything. But aside from exploring the island, we did some underwater exploring as well. There don't appear to be any caves or oddities nearby to explore, though there is another giant shark, which I'm starting to think are uh, very common off the shores of the Broken Isles. So, what mysteries does this island hold? Currently we're unsure. We're going to come back later with a larger group to see if anything has some nifty drops, but aside from that, I'm starting to think there is some big murloc subplot, you know, quest line maybe that will come into play uh, during this expansion. Um, maybe where we ha an event where we have to stop a murloc uprising. Um, and heck, during one of the uh, world quests out in Stormheim, you deal with a murloc invasion, and you have to kill some well-equipped murlocs. Well, they're well equipped for murlocs, anyway. But yeah, who knows? Mysteries abound. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you discover something interesting about Seabreak Isle, uh, let us know in the comments. If you discover something connected to this, or any of our other mystery videos, uh, drop us a line. Perhaps we'll solve a mystery together. Special thanks go out to With Her Spoons for letting us know about other pearls and murloc islands uh, that let us hear on our last video. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'd greatly appreciate it. And remember, we'll see you in-game. Bye, everyone.